everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Amanda. I do a lot of food videos, beauty videos, lifestyle, and today we are really digging into the lifestyle, all right? Because we are going to be talking about a topic that a lot of us in our 20s deal with, and that is the quarter life crisis. I know, very stressful thing, so to help me talk about this and pretty much give you guys insight on how I've felt personally on my journey and like of course my friends as well, I'm going to be drinking some delicious wine. I don't want to be on here and act like I know everything because I don't. I'm 23 years old, still kind of fresh into my 20s. Actually, I guess in two years I'll be halfway through them. God, God it's stressful. I really hope from this video that it can be more of a conversation. That's why we have the comment section so if you guys feel the need to share any advice or share your own journey, please feel free to comment down below. So yeah, with all that being said, let's just hop right in. I don't know about you guys, but if I'm going through something, it makes me feel a lot better talking through it with somebody, and I know this is me talking through it with the camera. It still feels good, it kind of feels like therapy to me. I've felt a lot of stress these past few months, especially with quarantine. I feel like everyone is like in a static position, like there isn't really much way for us to grow because everything's closed. So cheers to the uncertainty. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so, so good. So first I want to start off why a lot of us in our 20s experience this kind of stress and I think a lot of it does stem from school. First day of school all the way into high school and then college, we've always had a structure. Within each class or the grade that you're in overall, you know what's going to come next. There are defined goals and there's a deadline and I think going through that for years, it really conditioned us to having this sort of structure and knowing what was going to happen next. So as soon as you're done with school, you're kind Kind of like in this stressed state because you don't know what's gonna happen next your life isn't structured into these like quick nine months that we're used to in the school year and that my friends is when all the questions start to pop up what am I doing with my life what do I even want to do with my life what am I even good at all these questions are really stressful and of course they're important as well I mean we all want to do something in the future that makes us enough money to live a comfortable life we want to have jobs that make us happy we don't want to be robots every day and work for a superior that treats us like shit and doesn't even know that we exist I know there are probably a lot of you out there that didn't want to go to school so let's say you're 22 21 years old and you're seeing all of your friends from high school graduating from college and getting these four-year bachelor degrees and getting full-time salary paid positions and then there's you seeing them go through this and you didn't even want to go through college you decided not to take that route but now in the back of your head you kind of feel this guilt from comparing yourself to them now you kind of feel like you did something wrong but if you look at the overall picture, you have to remind yourself you didn't want to do that in the first place. And going off from that, that's where we go to the topic of society. This really involves what our culture tends to teach us and the comparisons we make on a daily basis. Of course, of course, we all don't have the same life experiences, but I do want to say that a great majority of us have seen these same expectations. We are expected to go through grade school, high school, college and then go straight into a full-time salary position at the young age of 22. And then on top of these expectations, we have social media that is filled with TikTok influencers or these YouTubers that have mass followings or these super rich young celebrities like Kylie Jenner, people that are around our age or maybe younger that are experiencing and achieving all of these great things we didn't even think were possible. And then I'll see other people that are like a couple living in Texas that buy their first home and they're like 21 years old and I'm thinking over here, what did I do wrong? But then I think about it and I'm like, I'm in California and it's way more expensive than Texas. But still, that comparison, it happens so naturally. And like, you know, we all take these different paths, but we can't help but expect bigger things for ourselves. Mm. All right, I'm done with this first glass. I'm gonna go into my second one. This is a rose. Cheers. Ooh, <gasps> I like that. Well, thanks for the wine. Of course. 
All right, I apologize for that little pause, but aside from school and society overall, the third thing that really, I think, fuels our quarter life crises is our personal expectations. I feel like a lot of people, definitely including me, we kind of plan out like a little general plan of how we think our life's gonna go. Like in high school, I would tell myself, I'm gonna have a successful job by 25. I'm gonna be making good ass money, okay? By 27, I'll probably be married. By 28, 29, I wanna have my first kid. I mean, that can be a goal for someone else out there and that is a great thing to see happen. I mean, I have a lot of close friends that have babies and they're happier than ever. But for me personally, I definitely wanna have so much time to just focus on myself, to travel, to do the things that I love, live in different cities. If you think about it from like an overall point of view, to have an amazing career by your mid 20s and then be in love and start a family and experience that in just your 20s, you're condensing your entire life, greatest life experiences into one decade. With our generation, we just want to achieve the biggest, best things we possibly can in the shortest amount of time. I think the biggest takeaway I want to give you guys from this little segment of personal expectations is try to not see your 30s as the point in your life where things start to go downhill. If we try to achieve all these great things in our early 20s and we don't achieve them, that just puts a lot of stress and negativity onto ourselves. I'm not perfect. I mean, I'm sitting here giving you guys advice, but I don't take my own advice every single day. I'll go through my funk and um, it'll take me a few days to get out of it. It makes me feel so good just talking about it with someone and doing the these tips that I'm about to share with you right now. So the first thing I want to say is to embrace the fact that you're in the in-between. You are moving from the old identity that you associated with and that you're moving towards the identity that you are now creating for yourself. Embrace the fears and the anxiety that you experience when you think of your career and how you're doing with it. Because one of the biggest mistakes that I made personally was kind of ignoring the fears that I had in the back of my head and pretending that my life was okay or that I knew every step that I was going to take next. What I've seen personally is when you pretend that your life is okay to your friends in person or on social media, it can lead you to more of a depression later when you realize that your life isn't where you want it to be. So one of my biggest pieces of advice for this video is when people ask you what you're going to do next with your life, tell them that you're still working on that or you're not entirely sure. Because like I said earlier, we're all transitioning from one state to another. We are going from the kids that we associated with into actual young adults. So it's kind of like giving up one identity and creating a new one. And then lastly, I want you guys to relax as much as you can and that is something that I definitely definitely need to work on I won't prioritize things that make me happy so whenever you have time sleep take naps if necessary look back at what you've accomplished in your two decades of life and see what you can learn from that read books that excite you that teach you things that you've always wanted to learn listen to music go out in nature just do things that make you happy. Once you start remembering what you love and who you are in your roots, you'll realize what you want to be in the future. So with all that being said, that is my whole little spiel on the quarter life crisis. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have anything that you want to share with yourself or have any comments on what I've said, please comment down below. I definitely want to see what you guys have to say. Yeah, with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you a ton and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.